Hey guys, Jason here with RWB NetSec, and in this video series, we're going to be going over the network discovery portion of Metasploitable 2. Uh, from there, we're going to then enumerate the machine to see which ports and services are listening. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with it. So the approach we're going to take here is that we're already on the client's network, and they've given us the IP range for testing. So the first thing we need to do is find the actual machine on the network. Uh, we're going to be using the Net Discover tool in Kali for this. So uh, we know that since we've got the machines configured for host only inside of VirtualBox, uh, that the IP range is going to be under 192.168.56.x. So we can quickly verify the IP address of our Kali machine if we open a terminal window. Uh, just do an ifconfig, and we can see here for mine, uh, Kali is set to 56.101. So let me clear this screen here. Now, of course, going into this, you know, quote blindly, you know, we could cheat and just log into the Metasploitable VM and find out what the IP address is, but we're not going to look at it from that direction. We, we need to actually be able to discover the machine on the network and then uh, attack it from there. So to use NetDiscover, uh, you just simply type in NetDiscover, tack R for the IP range, and we're going to do 192.168.56.0, and I'm going to do a slash uh, 24. You'll hit enter here. let it scan for machines and here it looks like the metasploitable VM is going to be at 102 so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and then we'll start taking a look at the uh, the actual enumeration for it alright so to do the enumeration part uh, since we already know the IP address we're just going to uh, run a quick nmap scan. So I'll just open another terminal window and we're going to do nmap. I'm going to do a version scan against all ports. And then the IP, well, can't seem to type. 192.68.56.102 We'll hit enter here. And then if you want, you can increase the verbosity in nmap from here. If you just hit V, it will increase it. That way you can see more output on the screen as it runs through its uh, uh, service and port enumeration. You can see it's already finding several open ports. And the reason that we did all 65,535 ports is uh, you may have some system administrators who will uh, configure services on different ports than what maybe the standard port is. You know, maybe just to throw somebody off, they think it's you know it's security by obscurity. It, you know, if you don't know that this particular service has been moved to another port, then you won't find it and then won't be able to attack it. But as we can see here, that's that's just not the case. If we scan all ports, then that service is going to show up on here even if it's not on the default port. All right, so the scan finally finished, and we can see here that it actually found quite a few open ports on this machine. Um, in addition to the ports that NMAP discovered, uh, we also see that it gave us the services that were running on each port and the versions for each one. Now we can verify, uh, because NMAP is telling you the service that it thinks is running on a uh, particular port but you can manually verify this uh, just say with port 21 we can do a telnet to that port uh, port 21 and then we see here 
this banner that came back for uh, version 234 of VSFTP. And that's the same version that Nmap came back with. So doing the manual verification, this is just another way to test and verify. You know, like I've said on other videos for uh, some of the tools in Cali, you always want to verify your results. So this scan that we just ran, all of these ports that are showing are all TCP ports. Uh, but you're going to also want to do a scan for any open UDP ports that could be running. Uh, because there are services that could be running on UDP that will also help you to uh, maybe further enumerate the machine or may offer other options, um, maybe for file transfers or, or another way of getting information from the machine. So let me go ahead and uh, stop this Telnet session here. I'm going to clear the screen. And in order to run a UDP scan with Nmap, we'll just type in Nmap. SU and we'll do do the IP address again hit enter and I'm not going to specify a port range on this one because UDP is quite a bit slower so I'm just going to let it run against the default ports all right so you can see the scans finished and we did get a few hits here one of the more interesting ports uh, on this side is this port 69 for TFTP. Now this could be something that comes in handy later. Uh, it could allow us to be able to transfer files back and forth from the Metasploitable VM. Right, so now that we've got our results back from both scans, uh, we're going to need a way to save these results uh, for reference later. And MMAP does provide several options that we can use for saving the output. Uh, two of the more common ones are going to be in XML format and in greppable format. Uh, if you use the XML format, you can save the file and then use that to import into other programs. Uh, one other option with XML files, you can use that file to generate an HTML file, which then you could include in part of your report to the client. So let's run another scan quick, and this time we're going to output the results to an XML file. All right, so I went ahead and cleared the screen, so let's just run another scan here. I'll do nmap tech A to get all of the information. 56.102. And then we're going to specify the tech OX for XML output and then I'm just going to save the file to the desktop. I hit enter here. All right, we see now that the scan has finished and if you scroll back up here you can see that this particular scan gives back a whole lot more information than the uh, just the version scan that we ran before. So you can see here that we have the XML file that it created on the desktop and now we're going to take that file and convert it to an HTML file that we can then include in our report. So there's a program within Kali that will do this conversion for you. It's called XSLTProc. And in order to run that, you just type in XSLTProc, give it the uh, XML file that you're going to use, do attack O and then specify the the name of the output file that you want. So we'll just do msp.html. Hit enter. And now you can see it's created this HTML file here on the desktop. So if we open that up, you can see that it's got everything formatted in an easy to read manner. It has all the ports listed out. Uh, it shows the version of the service running. Uh, and then it gives the extra information for that uh, particular port and service. So this is just another handy way to uh, keep up with the results that you get back from these scans. All right, so now we've got the initial port and service enumeration done. So in the upcoming videos, we're going to start looking at each of the services and ports and see if there's a way to exploit those for access into the Metasploitable VM. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Uh, if it's your first time here, I would love if you subscribe to the channel and share it out with all of your friends. So my hope is to build a community where we can help each other learn and grow in security, especially if you're just getting into it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you all have an awesome day. See you guys.